right fella so first of all you need to navigate to the search bar of your windows and you need to search for nvidia app once you type nvidia in the search bar you will have the nvidia app you need to click on this once you're right inside the nvidia app you will have the latest version of the nvidia you can watch this video and you can also upgrade your nvidia app to the latest version once you are done you can go to the left navigation of the nvidia app and you need to click on drivers once you are right inside the drivers you need to select from this drop down you need to select the studio driver because it provides the best experience for the creative apps and after effects is included in the creative apps so you need to select the studio driver as you can see i have an update available and i can download the latest version but in this case it will take time so i will do this later on so make sure you select the studio driver you can also go with the game ready driver if your gpu does not support it so that's perfectly fine once you are done you need to go to the graphics and once you right inside you can see the three programs listed in the program settings i recommend to apply the program settings you can also go with the global settings but program setting is recommended in order to load the after effects directly into the program settings you can click on these three vertical dots and you need to click on add a program once you are right inside you need to go to this pc you need to navigate to the local disk c where your windows is installed next you need to navigate to program files then you need to select adobe and in my case i have the adobe after effects 2023 so i will select this one i will navigate into the support files scroll down and as you can see this is the after effects this is the application file of the after effects i will click on this and i will click on open once you're done it will load the after effects into the program settings and for now it is only showing 2019 but it is 2023 so i will select this one and i can see the driver settings that I can apply to my After Effects 2023 version. So first of all for the RTX Dynamic Vibrance you need to click on ON and make sure the intensity is 50% and the saturation boost is 25% and you need to click on apply. For the CUDA GPUs this is the very important settings you need to click on use these GPUs and you need to select your graphics card here I can see the GTX 1660 Ti so I will select this one and click on apply. For the image scaling you can go with ON and keep the sharpening at 50% and the render resolution should be 59% that's fine and uh, you need to click on apply you can ignore the low latency mode you can also ignore the monitor technology but for the power management mode you can go with prefer maximum performance you can ignore the vertical sync and the virtual reality now we are done with the nvidia app settings now we need to navigate into the nvidia control panel settings for that we are going to go to the settings and scroll down until you see the nvidia control panel and you need to click on open all right fellas so the nvidia control panel has been successfully launched and uh, first of all you need to go to adjust image settings with the preview and once you're right inside make sure you select this option use the advanced 3d image settings you have to click on this and uh, you need to go at the bottom right corner of the screen and click on apply once you are done go to configure surround physics and make sure the processor under the physics settings is selected as your gpu do not go with auto select or the cpu go with the gpu this is important if you play games along with the video editing once you are done you need to go to the manage 3d settings once you are right inside i have the global settings and the program settings we need to navigate into the program settings once you are right inside make sure you select this option show only programs found on this computer this will be helpful to only list the programs that are available in your pc after that you need to click on this drop down and make sure you find your after effects 2023 version this is the after effects fx.exe i will click on this and now i can apply the program settings to make my after effects use the gpu acceleration for rendering but if you are unable to trace it you can click on add and you can search for after effects from this list as you can see this is the after effects 2023 version I can double click on this and it will be loaded into the programs to customize but still if you are unable to locate it you need to go to add you need to click on browse and once you are inside you need to go to the this pc local disk c program files adobe adobe after effects 2023 support files scroll down and find the after effects once you do so you need to click on open and it will be loaded into the programs to customize all right fellas so let us now apply the best nvidia control panel settings for the after effects 2023 and 2024 so for the image scaling you can go with on and keep the sharpening at 50 percent and click on ok for the any dropping filtering you need to go with 16x but if it makes your after effects very slow and lagging and you see some kind of noise in your videos you can go with the 8x for now let us go with the 8x for the gamma correction you need to go with on for the anti-aliasing mode you can go with has the application settings and for their settings go with 4x for the anti-aliasing transparency go with 8x super sample you can ignore the background max frame rates 
for the coda gpus this is very important you need to select use this gpu make sure you select your graphics card here and you need to click on ok for the coda uh, system fallback policy make sure you select prefer system fallbacks but if it gives you error you can go with driver default so i'm gonna go with prefer system fallback for the low latency mode you can go with on but it is not recommended if you have a very high end pc you can go with on otherwise you can go with off for the max frame rate you need to click on on and keep it at its maximum you can also ignore this setting this is not recommended so click on okay. you can ignore the monitor technology for the multi-frame sample AAMFAA you need, you need to go with on for the OpenGL GTA compatibility this is very important you need to select prefer performance for the OpenGL rendering GPU this is also very important you need to select your graphics card here for the power management mode you need to go with prefer maximum performance you can ignore the refresh rate for the texture filtering you need to go with on for the texture filtering negative alert device you need to go with clamp for the texture filtering quality make sure it is selected as high performance for the third optimization make sure it is on for the triple buffering make sure it is also on you can ignore the vertical sync and virtual reality for the vulcan open gl preset method you need to select this drop down and make sure you select prefer layered on dxgi swap chain and once you're done you need to click on apply at the bottom right corner of the screen and now let us go right inside the after effects to apply the gpu acceleration settings all right fellow so once you're right inside the after effects first of all make sure to create a new composition and i'm gonna go with the default settings and click on ok so once you're right inside you need to go to the top left corner of the after effects you need to click on file once you're right inside the file navigate to the project settings and once you're right inside make sure you select the mercury gpu acceleration cuda from this list and if you see open cl or open gl you can also go with that you need to select your mercury gpu acceleration CUDA for the gpu acceleration in after effects and once you're done you need to click on ok you can also turn on the secret settings to further increase the rendering speed you can watch out this video to further increase your rendering speed in the after effects and it will enable the secret settings and the multi-frame rendering in the after effects to further boost your rendering and the preview speed in the after effects so that's it i hope you like this video you can also check out my other videos as well i will place the link in the description so that's it i hope you like this video if you have any questions you can comment down below i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day